Hey everybody, how's it going this evening? It's uh, not been too bad of a day, um, but it's always a good day when you can wake up another day in life and, and, and enjoy it with your friends and your family and loved ones. Um, it's always a good day. That, you know, I mean, That's the way I've come to look at life. And it's always a good day as long as I can wake up another day and spend it with my family and friends and loved ones and my little wawas, of course, <laughs> and my children. Um, you know, and, and, you know, just being able to enjoy the day, you know, no matter, you know, what you might be going through or uh, struggling times or good times or bad times or whatever. But if you get that chance to wake up and enjoy that day, it's a damn good day. Um, thank you for tuning in as always. I just want to thank everybody out there, uh, for tuning in and, um, uh, watching what I got going on and, um, going to do something a little different. I might spit out a little vlog here in a little while or something. Um, it's just me and Miss Vapes tonight. The, the little one is, or he ain't so little no more. I'm going to spend the evening with his grandmama. So, uh, we kind of got a little bit of a quiet house except for the other babies, you know, that like to do their barking here. So, I might split a little vlog thing out here a little bit, but I needed to get caught up and get this done. I'm going to try to get this done. I've been looking at this, so, um, uh, I might do this a little different way than, than what I was talking, um, and I'll explain this in a minute, but what we're going to uh, look at here today, we're going to try to go ahead and get this knocked on out, it is the 3D Atomizer from Angel Sigs. I just love that design on that box, that's pretty cool, you know, got that little 3D looking look there going on, you know, really nice box, it really is, nice and sturdy box, it's not real cheap, you know, it's a nice box. Um, but uh, this is a, this is a really awesome ideal. I know there's people out there. I've kind of been uh, uh, trying to play catch up here from having some down days and things, and um, just kind of trying to check up on this thing. I know it's been out for a little while, but Angel Sigs, you know, got it to me, so I want to go ahead and get the review done for them, and um, go ahead and put it out there. Um, I think they have it on sale right now. Uh, let me look at their website here. I got their website pulled up. Um, let's see. Um, I think they've kind of actually got like a special on it right now or something. It's on sale. Or no, they've got it up as new. Um, why it's saying new, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, they, they got it up here. The 3D RDA Rebuildable Dripping Atomizer Clone by Angel. And um, they got it for twelve ninety nine, as low as nine ninety nine. And that's if you buy so many of them or whatever. Uh, but if you just buy in your single one, it's just twelve ninety nine. I'll put a link at the bottom of the page to uh, uh, to Angel Sigs here to this. Um, I would say, yeah, I would want one of my little arsenal of fun toys um, to play with. Um, you know. I wouldn't say it might necessarily be my everyday um, jump to dripping Addy. Um, it's a really ingenious ideal that they came up here with. Um, uh, I think it needs to be tweaked a little bit more. There could be some fine tuning to help better a little bit um, because I, I don't necessarily want to say it's not user friendly out of the box. Um, but you really need to get acquainted with this dripper. Um, uh, you know, it might not take much, but you need to acquaint yourself with it. You need to check it out, take it out, play with it, look at it. Um, you know, and uh, maybe catch a couple videos on them and things like that um, to kind of give you some little tips and tricks and tidbits. And um, uh, because this thing is just different, you know, it's got a moving deck. Um, where you're trying to put your coils, so that can kind of be a little fun. Um, you know, once you kind of get the hang of what you kind of try to do, you know, it's not quite so bad, but still, it's a moving deck, so it is a little fun. Um, I wouldn't say this should be for the new at building. This should be more for your uh, mid-level to experienced uh, modders. Um, but in any fashion, um, 
you know, in my opinion, I think it's an Annie that should be, and you know, everybody should have one of these because um, it is pretty cool. Um, it's a conversation piece at anything, um, and also, I mean, it's a pretty cool little dripper. You know, like I said, you just it's not something you want to. You're not going to work with this and, you, and rush through it. You need to be able to sit down, take your time, um, do what you got to do, and do it right. Um, so um, we're going to. Uh, Come on down low. We're going to flip on down here and take a look at everything and um, talk about it there for a minute as I show you everything and some of the little things to it and stuff. And then um, I'm going to throw me a, a, a build on there. I'm going to flip back out for a pause and throw my build on there. And um, then we'll come back and, and, and try to vape on it a little bit and see how she does. All right, so hang on just a second and sit back, get you a vape, and um, we'll be back in just a minute. Oh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All righty, all righty, we back. I need to have another vape of that. That's just some really good stuff. Mm, 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 mm. Yummy. Just tastes delicious. All right, we're going to move this box on over out right of the way now. You've seen what that is. And um, I've got a tour on down here for you already. Um, one thing, like some of them say, you know, some of the other reviewers saying things, and I'm starting to see that um, as I uh, get some of these new little devices and things like that, um, is that, you know, you know, these authentics that you get and, and things like that, um, you go opening these things up and, you know, you've got your little device, make gear piece, whatever you want to call it, um, and that's what you got. Um, they don't give you stuff like this, you know, um, and I don't understand that as much as what you're paying for some of them things. You know, they want to throw you the little goodie bags in there with some extra little stuff or something, you know. Um, but it takes these uh, American companies and the Chinese companies to um, just come full blast and, and give you the extra little goodies, you know. They're sitting here cloning these things or and, and, and devices and things like that. And then they're the ones that are giving you the extra little goodies. Um, to go along with it too, you know, little sets of extra cool. Sometimes they come pre-wicked and cold, and you still get another little set. And sometimes they just send you the set to wick it the first time. And sometimes you got some screws and O-rings and a little screwdriver, and you know, and I just think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and kick this over here out of the way. All right, really nice little drip tip. I really love this drip tip. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Um, it's got some nice, you know. Looks like it's a little castle drip tip. Um, see if it's going to focus. Oh, sorry about that. See if it'll focus in here for me. There we go. Oh, God, I had to say something. Um, I just think that looks really nice. Um, come on, focus in for me. Um, see if I can lay it up there and it'll do it. There it goes. Oh. No, it's going to go back and pick up on that down there on the desk. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. But I just like that. It does so good that it goes back away. What the hell's up with that, you know? I don't understand it. Flip that around. Oh, yeah. I just like that. Let me go ahead and just fix this focus. I'm sorry about this, folks. Let me just go ahead and fix it where we can. I can bring everything up here to show it to you, and it's just fixed. I'll just have to switch it back when we get done. Yep, there we go. That looks a lot better now. I just like the look of that. It's got the little castle top look there. I like that. What a nice little drip tip. And it's that brushed, brushed metal. You can feel it. You can run your fingernail on it. You can feel it all. I mean, it's really nice looking. Uh, it's good quality material. Um, some of it's kind of shiny, shinier looking, but um, it's still the brushed material. Um, so we're going to bring this on up here now. Now, I'm going to show you something. All right, there's one air hole right there. And spin this on around. 
there's another air hole. So I got one open on both sides. But look here, right there. You see that divot right there? That open area. All right. There's a bigger air chamber hole right there, and the one for here. If you'll notice, that's smaller. You know, and that one is. You know, it's the same size as the other one. So that you got uh, dual air coming in on both your coils. Um, you can fix this where you just have the one big air hole there open, like for a single coil use, or you can set it to where you can have uh, that mild airflow, I guess, uh, light airflow going through there uh, on dual coils. Um, but this thing is actually the holes it's got drilled in it. Um, you can actually have air coming through all three of them holes. You can turn that, turn this adjuster and have all three of those holes lined up over an open hole on this thing and have three-way airflow going. I don't understand that, but okay. Um, pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. I did have to go ahead and, cause, you know, because I was playing with it, um, I did have to go ahead and change the O-ring uh, under this air adjustment. Um, there was just something going on, you know, uh, with it, it weren't quite right. Uh, that um, when it was standing upright and you were trying to mess with it, that would drop down just a hair. And when it did, it was blocking the air holes where you weren't getting any air. Um, and that was kind of getting on my nerves. So I just went ahead and took it on, slid it on down, took it on off. And of course, because they're good about doing things like that. Went ahead and changed out the O-ring and put a new old ring on there. So, and now it works pretty good. So, here's your little rotating deck piece right here. Um, you got the little washers under there. Uh, trying to get it where. Let me see if I can get it up here. This is an itty bitty piece for me to be holding my fat little fingers. Um, trying to get it there. We got. Yeah, you got some little washers right there. Right there they are, right there, you can see it wiggling right there. Um, and then you got that little raised plateau area that that washer sits down on top of there. So when you tighten your screw down, you, what you do is you get your wire. This doesn't have the holes in it for you to run the wire through. What you do is slide your, run your screw up and then slide your wire up underneath that washer on top of that plateau flat area uh, of that stud there. And um, then tighten your screw down. Generally, you can try to wrap it, you know, but try to make sure you put it on one a certain way so that when you start to tighten your screw down, it don't try to roll your wire back out of there. Try to lay it around your screw area so that when you tighten in your screw, it's keeping that wire, you know, wanting to go to the inside so it stays on there and don't come back out on you. All right. And it's all really nice thread, and it really is. It works pretty smooth. Um, here's the little well cap that that deck sits on and then you can see the little uh, screw right there all right you can take a little flathead screw and screw that out and take your big fat uh, nosed uh, squeezy bottles and, and take that out and stick it right there to fill that uh, well up on this thing that's underneath of this uh, but I really really highly suggest um, taking it because you can see there's a hole in it right there let me see if I can turn where you can see it. Make sure you can see it. And there it is. See it right there? There you go. Yep, it's got a hole in it right there. Now, I highly suggest you get you one of these. Um, you can pick these up really, really cheap, anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar. <laughs> you know, put your e juice in here, and whenever you're ready to fill it up, just pull your little plunger cover off and stick it down in the thing and fill it to your heart's content. Really good idea. Um, and here's your spring. And it's a not a light, lightweight spring, but it's not a heavy duty spring. It's about a mid range spring. Um, I don't think you'll really have much issue with it. It seems to be pretty good. Um, it's, not, it's not that bad. And like I said, you got the brushed metal. Um, I love the little 3D emblem on there. And it just kind of stands out at you. Um, like it's in 3D, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really like that. 
And then I love my train. There it is. Oh, yep, 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 yep. They kind of match up with your nemesis stuff and whatever. Um, and then it's got the little serial number on there. I call that my bait train. Now, this, and I guess that maybe that's why they do it, but I don't know that it fits with anything else. If anybody out there knows that this will fit with anything else, let me know about it. But from what I understand, this just works with a nemesis. Um, you can take that top cap off your nemesis and screw this right down where the top cap would go. Um, and it turns your nemesis into a hybrid dripper. Um, you know, with this tip right here, it's not a floating tip or anything like that. It's just a you know standard built-in tip there with this top post thing. All right, and if you don't have a Nemesis and you want to run this on something else or another style mod, then you have a sealed 510 connector uh, adapter right here. You just take in. It's got its little plate there on the inside. For that tip to make its contact to right there there it is and then that way it can make its contact where it's got to and the threads on everything it's really good it's really got good threads it really does you know everything's nice and smooth uh, no binding no scrunching no screeching um everything really looks nice on it it really does um and everything just seems to go together okay as far as the thread and everything goes it's just you, you know the the deck thing is just something uh, you know takes a little getting used to you need to make sure that you can take your time and play with it and um, you not know, be in a rush or, or try to hurry or anything like that you know what I'm saying um, so that you can do what you got to do all right and Good as gold knew I was going to be doing um, some Addy and Modern, and they sent me some of their uh, dripping drops uh, from their dripping drops line for drippers and stuff. Um, so I do have three bottles of that. They sent me a turtle cheesecake, and I want to tell you that really smells really good. Um, and a banana split. And a vanilla custard and yeah I've been hitting the vanilla custard yeah 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 but I do have some in here too so that we got plenty to make sure that we can fill up this one here for tonight anyway um, but we're gonna come back uh, on another video and we're gonna do a, a review on these dripping drops uh, from good as gold um, and also play with a couple of my atomizers that I got over here my Addies and um, we're going to do some reviews on these flavors and talk about some stuff they got going on with their website uh, where they've um, uh, got some new deals and stuff like that going on and everything and talk all about all that good stuff because um, they still have that deal going on um, about you know, spending up to the, uh, I think, what, $25 and you, uh, you know, getting the, a deal and also... Uh, uh, getting the free, yeah, the free uh, e juice bottle of the month. Um, and they have some new sample pack things going on where you can get uh, uh, sample packs of like their, their premium line, their good as gold premium line. So many bottles for so much money. And um, uh, like the drip and drops, so many bottles for so much money. Um, and a little. Uh, sample bottles and um also uh, the medieval line you can get s uh, so many bottles for a certain amount of money um which is a pretty good deal what you're getting uh, but we'll get more into that on their video uh when we're going to break down and do some reviews on that there so let me cut out here now and put this thing together and come back and we'll vape on it and talk about it for a minute and then ride on out on the vape train i'll be back on them in just a minute so sit back take a vape and hang on Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. All right, all right. I am back. Um, guys and ladies out there, I'm sorry for the little bit of delay, but I had to play with this thing a little bit. Um, 
like I said, you know, uh, this is one uh, I would really say is more for your 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 medium to you know advanced. Um, you know, not wanting to say user friendly, but you really need to get yourself acquainted with this thing. Oh my God, I love it now. Woo! Damn, call the fire department. Damn, house is on fire. Ah, right, damn. 3D atomizer. All right. Uh, I have uh, had to take a little extra time. I'm sorry this video, um, this last part of it here is getting out a little bit later. Because um, I had to play around with this thing and really get used to it. Um, I, I didn't want to rush myself. I can kind of get a little OCD sometimes on shit. And, um, you know, so I don't, you know, if I start getting frustrated, I got to walk away from something. So I had to get myself acquainted. Um, like I said, you know, uh, I believe I mentioned it in part of the uh, of them. Here where your O-ring, you, you got three O-rings in here that holds this cap in in here. And then there's an O-ring up here behind your adjustment for your air. And something was wrong with that O-ring from the beginning. Um, it got a little juice or something, and it just didn't want to quite stay up there, so I had to go ahead and replace that O-ring. Um, now it's staying up in place good, so I can get the airflow channel that I want. Um, and you got to get used to that moving deck, because if you don't, it goes turning on you, and then it screws your coils up. Um, so, you know, it's something you need to take your time with. You don't want to rush and build on this. I would say a yes. Um, this is a must-have in every everybody's if you're into the make mods and drippers and atomizers and all that this is a must-have in everybody's little arsenal of toys um, um I fine-tuned it and played with it and um, got uh, my coils built on there and uh, I had them uh, I did like I do them all you know uh, when I build my coils and heat them and squeeze them and all that and then get them sit right and then get them on the device and heat them up a couple times play with them squeeze them some more and I finally uh, broke out at a, at a point eight um, uh, on these coils, dual coil on a one eighth uh, size rod, a one eighth size rod, dual coils, and I build them with 28 gauge wire um, of the, the, the Timco, the A1 uh, wire, and um, squirt, squirt some juice in that bad boy. Oh, my mercy, mercy, mercy. Oh, my God. And that flavor is so good. Those dripping drops from um, Good as Gold, that vanilla custard is just delicious, I am going to tell you. Um, and it's, it's helping produce some wonderful clouds. That dripping drops line is some nice stuff. It really is. Um, uh, all right. The 3D, atom, 3D atomizer. Um, uh as far as giving you a grade, thumbs up, you know, I always try to give a thumbs up, thumbs down, or whatever. Um, I'm going to kind of give a middle range thumb. Um, uh, if I'm going to give you a grade, or maybe a, a three-fourths thumb, not all the way up, a three-fourths thumb, okay? Because I would say this is a must-have in everybody's arsenal. Um, it's a cool little device. You know, I don't know if there's some way they could tweak a little extra and, and maybe, you know, work a few things out to make this a little bit more. I didn't want to say, like, user-friendly out of the box, but um, once you get used to how this thing works, um, it's not that bad. It's really not. It's just a matter of getting used to this thing because it might be a little, a little intimidating to you out of the box a little bit, trying to, you know, get it put together and built for the first time. But um, 
some of your more experienced builders, you know, may not have an issue, you know, out of the box with it. But somebody that's new to, to messing with this stuff might feel a little intimidated. But just take your time, uh, play with it, check everything out, and don't be afraid to mess up a couple coils. Um, you know, trying to get it worked out and don't get mad. Um, you know, just keep you cool and play with it. And you know what? This is a really cool thing. It really is. Um, NC Vaping likes this little 3D Eddy from Angel Sigs. And the vape train has pulled into the station. And it's sitting on top of that that stingray. Oh my goodness. I love this thing. I love it. It hits like a beast. Um, you know, mm -mm 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 -mm. just yummy, yummy. Delicious dripping drops. That vanilla in there is just, just delicious. This 3D atomizer from Angel Sigs. Um, it's it's all right in my book. And um, I'll put links to this on their on their website for you. And um, I'll put a link down there for, for the good as gold. So you can go check out their e-juices and stuff. Like I said, watch out. I'm going to be running some more videos out this week. Playing with some, some atomizers I've picked up here and there. And um, we're going to be checking out the rest of this uh, drip and drops. I'm going to do a uh, review for, for the drip and drops for good as gold. And... Um, and play with some of the atomizers and stuff whenever we're uh, doing that review for them. But I'm going to go ahead and put a link down there so that you can go to their website and check it out. They got some deals going on too with some sample packs and things like that. Um, but I'll get more in depth into everything on what's going on with their website stuff and deals uh, in their review video. This one is about Angel Six um, and this 3D atomizer. And um, I like it. I really do. The more I play with it and get used to it, the more I like this thing. Yes, sir. -y. All right. Well, thank you. And I'm sorry that this video has took me a little time to get it all together in the sections and put it out here for you. But um, I hope you enjoy. Um, if you were thinking about getting one of these, maybe I've helped uh, uh, let you know what you might want to think about it. Um, I would suggest to get one. You know, if you're into these, I would suggest to get one and have in your arsenal. It's a cool little thing to play with. It really is. All right. Well, y'all have a good one. Uh, look out for later on this evening. I'll roll out another video. Um, we're going to talk about some dripping drops. And um, till then. Vape on.